Time now to go on the road. We're going to go on the road as we do each and every Friday of the summer season. Today, we're kicking off the weekend at a great location. That's right. Ocean House in Westerly is Rhode Island's only five-star diamond resort. And Ashley's there this morning checking it out. Let's check in with her right now. Good morning, Ashley. Looks beautiful there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so beautiful here. The weather is stunning today. You could not ask for a better place to be. So if you have been looking for a place to take a daycation, this is where you want to be. I'm here with Jonathan Filer. He is in charge of the food and beverages here at Ocean House. And there is a lot going on here this summer. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. We got a perfect 10 out today. 10 out of 10 for sure. Now let's start with, we have a lot to get to. Let's start with where we are right now. What is this new space? Typically people would recognize this as the area where the gondolas yeah. are. That has been transformed for summer. Yes. Yeah, so this is called Bloom. Uh, it's uh, sponsored by Sif Smith Gin. Uh, guests can come out here, enjoy uh, the sunset, uh, and have a gin cocktail, or they can book it for a private space. It's fantastic. It's so stunning here in this space. And for guests who might want to come and enjoy this space, how would you recommend they do that? Is it you can uh, make reservations ahead of time? How does it all work? You can certainly make reservations ahead of time. Uh, it's available Fridays and Saturdays to come by. If you want to book it privately, which I recommend, it's pretty awesome to be out here by yourself. Uh, you can call the hotel and we can book it for you, create a menu, create a cocktail uh, program for you, or uh, just some wines. And there are a lot of very special areas here at Ocean House, a lot of kind of nooks and crannies to explore. So tell us about what else you have going on for food and beverage this season. What's new and what people can enjoy if they're going to come for the day or the afternoon that they can take part in? Absolutely. The hotel is pretty uh, deceiving from the front. It looks small, but we have a lot going on. Bloom, and then we have. Uh, Dahlia, which is our new uh, Mexican cuisine restaurant, is on the uh, ocean side of the hotel. Uh, we have the Veranda, which is our classic uh, seafood uh, raw shellfish restaurant. We have our Secret Garden uh, by Bouffe Clicquot, which is, uh, again, on the ocean side of the hotel. And then if you're staying with us in the hotel uh, or you're one of our members, we have uh, Thea, which is at the beach, which is our Mediterranean-themed restaurant. You guys always have some very interesting, cool, and unique partnerships going on. Years ago, you had me with the Secret Garden, and I've never looked back since. I come here every summer to see the new things that you have going on, which is great that you have these cool partnerships to even elevate that experience so much more. Absolutely. I love working with partners. Uh, one, it allows us to be creative. It opens up just a world of opportunity. Uh, just this past spring, I went to Mexico and uh, selected our own barrel of El Tesoro, uh, Representative tequila, which we have for you if you want to taste. Uh, about a year or so ago, I worked with Maker's Mark to create our own uh, whiskey. We then took that barrel, brought it to Graysale Brewery, which is our local brewery in Westerly, and worked with Dave's Coffee, and we made our own one-year-old, one-year-age barrel uh, coffee stout, which you have as well. And then, of course, with Sip Smith, uh, they help us bring in some brands that aren't necessarily everywhere. So uh, we're allowed to have some exclusivity. Which is so cool, and you have been kind enough to bring a selection here for us today. So tell me about what we have here on the table, and a lot of this is, as you just mentioned, things you can really only get here. Absolutely. So um, I always like to start off the day with tequila, just because. Same. Yeah, because why not? <laughs> um, it's not just for breakfast. Uh, so El Tesoro tequila, uh, we went down to Jalisco, worked with uh, three generations of the family, and were able to select a barrel uh, that I thought works really well, not only by itself, uh, but with cocktails. Uh, Sip, Smith, Sip Smith Gin, uh, which you can find elsewhere, um, but we are proud to serve it here, and we do create a, a group of signature cocktails. And then uh, Still Brewed, which is our bourbon coffee stout beer that we made with the Maker's Mark Barrel and our friends at Graysale, uh, which is only available at the Ocean House and our properties. Okay, let's talk tequila, Jonathan. Yes. I think I'm ready for this. I'm ready. So when you have tequila, typically you're, you know, of this caliber. Mm -hmm. You're sipping it, correct? What are we looking for? Uh, so the one thing with tequila, the one thing that they always say is cooked agave. If you've not had cooked agave, which most people haven't, it almost tastes like a roasted sweet potato. Um, it has the texture of that, and when you smell it, it has, should have some like vanilla notes, uh, some lychee, white strawberry notes mm. to it. I think a lot of us think tequila is sort of this one-dimensional creature, but it isn't. Um, when I can smell it from here. It smells very, very lively. Um, I love it. I was telling somebody I love it more, a little bit warmer than cold. All right, so we're going to cheers and send it back to you guys, and we'll be back for our next segment. Cheers. See you then. On the road is we kick off another summer weekend. 
You know, there are only a few weeks left in August, which is mm -hmm. crazy, right. right? But there's still plenty to enjoy right here in the Ocean State. We are going to check back in with Ashley, who is still enjoying the morning sunshine <laughs> on, the sip, on the Sipping Terrace over at Ocean House in Westerly. Not a bad gig. Hey, Ashley. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we've actually moved on the other side because, of course, we wanted to see the ocean, and we are so honored to have co-owner Deborah Royce with us. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Oh, we are thrilled to be here. This is such an iconic spot here in the state of Rhode Island, and there's always so much to do at Ocean House, and you have made it even that much more exciting with your author series, which has become extremely popular. Tell us more about that. Well, it started a few years ago when several of us in town had books coming out, so it was a little bit loose and kind of cobbled together. In the last couple of years, we really have an up and running every Wednesday night author series with some of the best and the brightest really in the whole country who come here. Which is so incredible. And you are an author yourself, which is so exciting. You have two books out already and a new one coming out very soon. Tell us about who you write for, how you get inspired, and about your books. Right, so I like to call my books identity thrillers, which is not really a thing, but um, if you think about a Hitchcock movie where it's a deep exploration of the secrets that people keep and really the peeling of the onion of that. So that's what I write. The book that's coming out in January is called Reef Road, and it's based on the real murder of my real mother's best friend in 1948 Pittsburgh. Wow, that must be such an interesting read. I'm sure that people can't wait to get their hands on that. And we have a couple of the books that you've already written out here as well, which I have seen in local bookstores everywhere. And you partner with some local bookstores as well to kind of work on your author series. So tell us about that partnership. So we work with the Savoy Bookshop and Cafe in Westerly, Rhode Island, which is a sister bookshop of Bank Square Books in Mystic. It's the same owner. So with them, we carefully curate who we're invited. And it's gotten to the point where we are really solicited by uh, publicists and publishers ar around the country. It's a fantastic bookstore. I've been there myself. It's really beautiful, too. If anyone's looking to just, you know, kill an afternoon, it's a great spot to do that as well, and not too far from here. And you still have some more events coming up this summer, correct? Who do you have coming? Well, we have Mary Dixie Carter and her book, The Photographer, this coming Wednesday, August 17th. The following Wednesday, we have Annabelle Monahan and her book, Nora Goes Off Script. Then we have Zibby Owens, who's a superstar in the whole literary world, on August 31st with her memoir, Bookends. And then we go into September, but that's August. That is a great lineup and so many great names that you've already had here this summer. And I know it's important for you at Ocean House, you know, you, you spotlight uh, authors and books, but the arts in general is really important to you. Tell us more about how you do that. So we have a pretty extensive collection of illustration on permanent display at the Ocean House from Bemelman's. Uh, we have a huge collection of Bemelman's, and he, of course, did the Madeline books to unpublished New Yorker covers to a whole variety of other illustrators. On top of that, we also have a changing gallery of art for sale that we feature local art galleries who show work here as well. There's so much to see and do at Ocean House. Thank you so much for invo inviting us to be here with you this morning. But we're not done just yet. I'm going to try my hand at croquet coming up, so you're going to want to stick around for that. But back to you guys for now. All right, so it's time to go back on the road one last time this morning as we check out a beautiful and historic resort found right here in Little Rhodey. It really just is an incredible spot. And Ashley is over there soaking it all in this morning. Great place to be. Good morning, Ashley. Hey, good morning. It is a an amazing place to be. And I don't need to tell you guys that I am the queen of athleticism. So we have brought my game out here to the croquet court. Steven is the croquet pro here. And he's going to show me a couple things this morning. Good morning, Steven. Hi, Ashley. Thank you. So. It's so nice to be here. Now, I think if anyone has visited Ocean House before, they've seen this area here. Tell us about, you have a very special program where people can take part in Whispering Angel and Wickets, which of course I love. I like to call also Rosé and Croquet. Tell us about the program that you're running here this summer. So every Thursday, we invite anyone who would like to join us for Whispering Angel and hors d'oeuvres, and uh, we play croquet. So it's a great opportunity to uh, engage in a social game and meet people, have fun playing, 
and uh, I'll teach you a little thing about croquet, how to hit the ball, and having fun. It is a lot of fun, and I told you I just recently tried to start playing golf, so I'm looking forward to this because at least the ball is bigger, so I feel like I might have a chance at hitting it. Is croquet a difficult game? I'm sure people have heard of it, but I don't know that people are really familiar with the game of croquet. Well, croquet is easy to learn but difficult to master. Uh, much like golf, it's a humbling sport, so mm -hmm. you can have some great shots and then, and then seem to fall apart, but you'll get it back. Um, croquet is, has... It's an inclusive sport, so men and women, all ages, uh, it's really for everybody. And we're very fortunate at the Ocean House to have one of the only courts, one of the only courts open to the public in the whole country, so anybody can come here and play. And you really can't beat the location because while you're playing, you're overlooking the ocean, which is, you know, iconic, stunning, all the things you would want. And you have a, you know, glass of Whispering Angel while you're at it. So that's fantastic. So we are going to have you, I'm a little nervous, but we are going to have you show me a couple shots. So I'm going to have you get on this side of me so I can conveniently stick the microphone under my arm while I play croquet. And you're going to tell us what to do. So how do we start here? Well, first, this is a mallet. And... Uh, on your mallet, you have a, a line going down the middle. So what I want you to do is center that on the ball. So the croquet style, unlike golf, you're going to face your target. Okay? Okay, and so you're going straight forward. And now, does it matter? I would imagine it does. Um, how you line up, do you go directly in front of the wicket? This is the wicket, well, so right? This is the wicket, <laughs> and the object, so the essence of the game is to get your ball through the wicket. So you're going to try and uh, shoot your ball and have it go through this wicket. And it's, it's a fairly narrow wicket. These are tournament uh, quality wickets. It's a very narrow yeah. wicket. It's not fairly narrow. It's the very The clearance is, is uh, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. I feel like I'm going to move this slightly and give myself just a teeny tiny better chance at actually. Okay, this feels slightly more lined up. So I'm going to line up. And of course, you have to wear a full length dress when you do this. It only helps the situation. Um, and now I'm going to line it up right with the ball. And you mentioned uh, having a big backswing, correct? So backswing is where you're going to generate power. So I want you to try and bring it back and then swing it through. But most importantly, focus on watching the mallet strike okay. the ball. I'm going to give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, that was actually pretty good, right? Good. Yeah, great Tell job. everyone how good it was. Though. Yeah, that, that was a good shot. You're going to make it next time. <laughs> All right. So if people want to try this for themselves, they absolutely can. It's Thursdays. It's Whispering Angel and Wickets. And you're probably going to be pretty good at it if I just got that close. For now, back to you guys in studio.